hello everyone welcome back in this video we are going to see azure application gateway so in this demo session i will be using this app vm1 and app vm2 so i have you know um, installed the web server which is ias in vm1 and vm2 for example uh, let me take the public ip of the vm1 and let me go to default.html so this will give app dash vm1 as a default.html page and uh, if i go to the vm2 and take its public ip address and if i put default.html then i will be getting app dash vm2 so now let's remove the um, public ip from each of this vm1 and vm2 and then we'll configure application gateway through which we will be able to access the web page so let me go to the interface and go to the ip configurations and go to the ip config one and here you can click on disassociate and click on save and similarly let's do the same for so this is for uh, vm2 let's do the same for vm1 so go to the networking and uh, network interface and the ip configuration click on disassociate and click on save so let's wait for this changes to be applied so once uh, the public ip has been removed then we will see only the private ip for both the vms and uh, then we will be you know creating the uh, application gateway and we will be using the front end ip configuration which is the public ip so through which we will be accessing the web pages okay so now let me go to the um, azure application gateway so you can search with application gateways and here you can just click on create new application gateway and uh, here you need to choose the resource group and uh, application gateway name and uh, region leave it with southeast asia and uh, maximum instance count i'll just deploy to and uh, then so here for the application gateway we need to have the uh, empty subnet that's mandatory otherwise uh, this won't work so i'm going to choose the rg1 vnet and in this i have two subnet and app gw subnet is empty which i have not used for anything let me just go to the virtual network and here you can see that uh, i have two subnet default and the second one so in the default i have the vms deployed and this one is free okay so next click on front ends okay so next we need to add the front end ip address which is a um, public ip so i'm going to create the new public ip click on ok and click on next for backends so here let's add the backend pool let's enter the backend pool
and uh, here uh, let's click on select the virtual machine and here add the vm1 which is standard 0.0.4 .0 and uh, again let's add the vm2 and click on add and click next for configuration so we have added the front ends and uh, back ends let's add the routing rule so here let's add the rule and the priority let's put 100 and we need to create the listener and uh, let's select the uh, front end ip which is a uh, public and next click on backend target so here let's select the backend pool and the backend target let's create and click on add okay so next review and create okay let's click on create to create the application gateway so let's wait for this deployment to be completed it will take a few minutes to you know uh, deploy this application gateway okay so the deployment is complete let's go to the resource application gateway and this is the uh, public ip and uh, here we can see the backend pools and uh, backend settings and the front end ip configuration so we have also created the listener and the rules okay so now let's uh, try accessing the web page using this public ip address okay here we can see that uh, the web page is coming up let me access default.html and uh, here we can see that uh, the web page is coming from vm1 and uh, let me access the same from the different uh, browser so let me open the edge browser and uh, access the same url and uh, here you can see that uh, the web page is coming from vm2 okay so the application gateway which is routing the traffic between vm1 and vm2 so in this case uh, you can also you know use a, a different uh, vm and you can configure the uh, web page meaning http to listen in a different port number and uh, you can use the uh, different port number that is configured in the different vm for example you can configure the vm2 to get the web pages that's on uh, you know port number 8080 or something like that and you can you know try accessing that since uh, the application gateway we can use to you know configure multiple site urls for example you can configure uh, one of the url for accessing the images from one vm and uh, similarly for videos you can configure to access it from the another vm Okay, so that's it in this video and also in the next.